Hey guys, it's Queen Deidre, and in today's video, I will be reacting to episode 7 of The Helpful Fox by Kosan. Let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. Did you hurt your back? And maybe you should take a bath or put a heating pad on it. Are you gonna do what I think you're gonna do? Ah, okay, you're gonna do that. Mm hmm. I mean, you know, like, once in a while, someone's back's hurt. I mean, you know, you have to step on it. I think that's the best thing. I gotta do that. Which, it's weird. At first, but if they your weight on somebody's back, you just like... Mm -hmm. But I mean, Senko's light as hell, so... You're not probably gonna feel anything. Unless she, like... <laughs> it was like a lot of pressure on her foot. Mm. It's hot. I want ice cream. I need, like, something to pull me down. All I need to know is, is shit all gonna be in this episode today? <laughs> uh, my fucking <laughs> Rocco. <laughs> Rocco, what's her face from Soul Hero? Which is so funny. And I didn't recognize that was her until. She came in at Shittle, and I was like, wait. And then I went back and I rewatched the Shield Girl episode with her in it, and I was like, Yes, yeah, so you shouldn't weigh a lot. Mm, you want the honest answer? Mm. Yeah, you never know. I mean, there are types of people who like getting stepped on. Especially if the woman's wearing heels. You know, all those people who played for Persona 5 and was in love with What's-Her-Face, the nurse. Nah. Can you imagine, like, if Shadow just came in and walked it on them?
Oh, she's doing it with both feet. I'm thinking she's just gonna do a one, apply pressure on that one foot, and then that's it. <laughs> Hearing this is so. <laughs> What the fuck? Are you going to tickle him? <laughs> if you know what? Apparently not. <laughs> I have the heat on my freaking door. Stick to the damn chair. Uh, it's a rose. I feel like the dreams that he's just having, like, it's just his past life, you know? Maybe he's reincarnated, possibly. I don't know. But there's more than the connection that they had 
There's something else. There's something greater, and I don't know what it is. But it has something to do with the dreams. Oh, I'm going to be staying longer. Oh, damn. Mm. Mm. No, I need to swap them. Mm. Oh, he should have. Well, you know, because um, I am the bone of my sword, you know, that, so that you can finally <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> my kitty. See, I feel like her powers are gonna not really send him home. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, psycho. You want food? That's all she wanted was food? This girl. You're gonna get a brain freeze. Yeah, uh huh. Looking at all the cats out. All the cats. 
Mm. It's kind of interesting to see you two together, you know, without saying You know. I, I don't think she can fly. Well, yeah, she probably could, but not like that. I mean, this ain't Kobayashi, my man. Are you sure this is going to work? Uh-huh. Wait, shut up! Same kitty, same. See, now I'm getting Konohana kids on fails. Ooh, it's been a long time since I've seen that show. <laughs> so funny. That's why you've been having them dreams. <laughs> Are you sure about that, though? <laughs> Look around. No. With you, which shit out.
My heart right now, like, oh my god, it was too good, but, mm. The fact that he's okay with that, like, imagine if it was you. You met someone, and, and, like, an ancestor. You look like your ancestor, and then, ish, and then this fox girl just wants to hang out with you because of the fact that you look like a damn ancestor. How would you feel? Would you be angry? I, I don't know how I would feel. I think I would be okay with it. But then at the same time, it's like, you know, what if she just likes me? What if he or she likes me or him for him? But then, like, I don't know. But they're still me. Oh, my God. I can't. It's too much. Stop. Please. <laughs> I'm going to get too emotional with this show. I'm already emotionally invested into these damn characters. <laughs> but I did like the conversation between Shino and Akino. It was something that I, in my heart, believed that it needed to happen. Because anytime when we see those two together, Senko is there. And it's just like, we need to have one episode or a moment where it's just these two together. They're just talking. And they're hanging out. Well, it's cute that they want home together. It was nice that, you know, she picked him up and said, you know what, let's go this way. I'm going to take you home with this nice view of the city looking down. Kobe, I mean, not Kobayashi. Toru, what can you do? You just fly. Even though flying is good, I'm just saying. Why didn't they do that? Why didn't they go watch it? Well, technically they did that after the shopping episode, but... It would have been nice to see those two walk together. You just got way too close. <laughs> yeah, that was seriously way too close. I mean, God. But it's okay. The, just the last moments of these offices, especially with this, if it goes into like third person or not third person, first person, it is weird. I mean, there's some good moments with it, but I'm like, I, I don't know how to do <laughs> But like, them both giving each other massages was so freaking cute. I mean, having her step on him was at first a little awkward for me because every single time when I think of like someone saying stuff on me, like I, I think of Persona 5, I think of a show that I watched like a couple of years back ago. Um, how this one guy was like, yeah, I want someone to step on me with heels. And I was just like, are you serious? Like people really enjoy that? I'm like, mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. me, I, like I said, I only had to use a foot. So that's it. Mm -mm. I just, I kind of now want to, like, see more flashbacks of his ancestor and Senko together, even though we're seeing it, like, bit by bit. It kind of reminds me with, um, with the Fate series, like, once they have their partner and they slowly but surely get to see their dreams of their past life before they die, it's kind of like that, but not really, except... No one dies. It's all cutesy. We ain't got to see blood and stuff. I'm not crying over a character, but I really absolutely think I am going to be like dead ass. Probably in the next few weeks, cry. There's going to be an episode. I don't know if it's going to come up, even though I've never read the manga. And I think after once I'm done with the series, I will read the manga. There's going to be an episode where I am just going to be like, mm -hmm, I'm not going to cry today. And then I just start crying and I'm like, 
why am I crying? I don't need to cry at, like, 2 o'clock or 3 o'clock or 4 o'clock in the freaking afternoon. But, you know, hey, sometimes you need a good behind cry. And I, I feel like the show is going to give me something. But it's just, this episode kind of felt, like, warm and fuzzy. And it was just really calming, even though after everything Takuno did, feeling good, giving him a massage, having a nice morning, and just coming home from work all tired and deadbeat, but then having shit all, like, save the day. Oh, just... <laughs> I don't really feel... I don't ship him and shit all. It's just... When I see him and shit all together, all I think of is not only fate. Um, they're like a daughter-father duo. And I can only see her as, like, a child. As a daughter to him. And how I see Senko as a mom. Because that's what they act like when they're all together. And it's just like, come on, bro. Like, y'all look like a damn family. You got the freaking neighbor thinking that Senko's your wife. <laughs> Which is still hilarious, even until now. But, like, just... I'm hoping that there's a moment in any one of these episodes coming up. They just all go out together. I don't care. It could be going food shopping. It could be walking to the park or just around the neighborhood, something. And they just look like a goddamn family, even though, you know, they both um, are Fox girls. And, you know, people who pass by are going to be looking at them really weirdly. Like the freaking SpongeBob and Patrick when they had, like, a baby episode. Be like, what? <laughs> Be like, um, that doesn't add up in my book. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction to you episode 7 <laughs> of the Helpful Fox Senko san If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Metro Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially all next Wednesday for episode 8. Bye, guys.